champions for Arkansas. To put it simply, that is what Arkansas has in Governor Mike and First Lady Ginger Beebe. Their passionate dedication to our state is evident throughout both their personal and professional lives, and nowhere is it more pronounced than in their commitment to ensuring quality and affordable health care for all Arkansans. Join us tonight as we honor the BBs for their unrelenting dedication to our state and for the impact they have had on the UMS Winthrop P. Rockefeller Cancer Institute, its research programs, and its patients. I have known First Lady Ginger B.B. since we were in kindergarten. Ginger B.B. is one of the most loyal people that I know. If she is your friend, she is truly your friend and you can call on her at any time. Her compassion. Compassion for people who um, are afflicted with problems, compassion for people less fortunate, compassion for people who uh, have met obstacles in their life. She's, she is about as kind and sweet a person as you'd ever want to meet. Her most notable strength is sometimes her greatest enemy. She cares so much. She cares about so many things. She's been a, uh, a visible spokesperson for uh, women's and children's issues that uh, are dear to her. And uh, I think she's heightened awareness in a number of areas for our Kansans to be able to, uh, to see and understand and uh, in many instances take up the cause. Her support and focus has meant a great deal because it's given statewide attention to the issues of the mentally ill. She helped us launch our Rockstar Kids program that just celebrated its third annual event just a couple of weeks ago. And this is a great celebration for kids with cancer who have been treated at our Radiation Oncology Center. She's a real person, so I know she has to get tired and I know she has to get weary, but you never see that. I think what we'll miss most about Mrs. B.B. is her calm, steady demeanor and the way that she has tackled issues that, frankly, a lot of people in the past didn't tackle. Uh, but I think she's provided a lot of class and grace and charm uh, to the office of First Lady and, uh, and to what uh, she represents for the state of Arkansas. Uh, Governor Beebe really leads by consensus. He has a remarkable ability uh, to focus on the issue at hand, engage all of the important stakeholders, and get an issue decided for the benefit of the people of Arkansas in the best possible way. We have grown in terms of buildings. We've grown in terms of programs. We have recruited some really world-class people. We would not have been able to do those things without the support of Governor Beebe. He, he always talks about the good kind of swagger, not, not you know, arrogance, not cockiness, but the good kind of swagger and pride that you can have in the state. And he's really, throughout all the things that he's prioritized as governor, whether it's education, whether it's jobs, whether it's healthcare, that all ties into the idea of all of us being better than both we think we are and that the rest of the country sometimes thinks we are. Mike is just down to earth. Um cares about people. Uh, he's no different from anyone else in our state and I think that's why he's made such a good governor is he, he relates to everyone. He cares about everyone. He respects the uh, process. He respects the two-party system and, um, and ultimately he knows that we have to work together to get things done and I think he want to do what's best for Arkansas no matter what the makeup of the legislature was. He can take on matters that very few people can take on and handle them in a manner that solve those issues and are workable solutions. Long after he's out of office, we're going to see the benefits of it and we're going to see other states that are going to step up either on payment reform or on the private option and say, oh, we want to do what they're doing because Arkansas started it and Arkansas is doing it best. As a father and as a husband, is the most honest person I've ever known. And he's very conservative, but yet he's very giving too. First time I ever met her, I thought she was the liveliest, perkiest uh, woman I'd ever seen. Governor and Mrs. Beebe have had a wonderful relationship throughout the years. They have 
love their children and their grandchildren. I mean, Ginger and Mike couldn't ask for better in-laws. And I'm telling you, Ginger and I, well, we have some sort of tele telepathy. It's, it's amazing. When I need her, she might pop up. There's not anything he wouldn't do for um, his wife, the love of his life. I still look at her the way I looked at her 30 some, 36 years ago, 37 years ago, whenever that was. So when I talk with my fellow Kansas Center directors from around the nation and tell them how much support he has shown us, they are absolutely green with him. He's had a lot of friends who've come here with very severe cancer. And uh, some of us have walked out the door and he's had some friends that haven't walked out the door. Um, he has always been a big fan of this institution. He is a cheerleader for his friends and he was one of my greatest cheerleaders through my own fight. We had a granddaughter born with cancer and uh, so uh, you know, Children's was right in the middle of all that and the UAMS doctors uh, were right in the middle of all that. She survived cancer thanks to the physicians at UAMS and Children's Hospital. We at the UAMS Winthrop P. Rockefeller Cancer Institute say thank you, Governor and Mrs. Beebe. We are forever grateful for your commitment to health care and medical research in our state. You are true champions for Arkansas, and we are honored to call you friend. I have really enjoyed our time working together, and I wish you all the best in the future. Uh, Governor Beebe and Ginger Beebe, uh, thank you for your service to Arkansas. Thank you for what you've done over the years. Uh, I'll miss working with you and serving with you. Thanks for everything you've given me and for the state. And, uh, you know, whenever you need someone to mark off 60 feet to help you warm up for a first pitch for a game, I'll be right there. You will in be missed so much when you leave office. I can't think of any two people who are more deserving of this award. The state's about to lose you, too, and they're going to miss you. I hope I still had you, because I guarantee you, you each have given me a ride that I would never have had, but for each of you, especially you, bro. Truly, I love you both, and you really, really deserve this honor. As a mother of a cancer survivor, thank you.